I'm going to try to show you some of the things you can do with slope field um, on the Inspire. So I need a graph and then uh, menu and go to uh, graph type, differential equation. And uh, when you're in this mode, if you want to enter Y, which you can certainly do, um, so for instance, I can do that. I have to, if I'm in Y1 prime, I have to use Y1. Uh, press enter and you get something that looks like that. If I go back up, I can edit it. Uh, to plus X, something like that. Um, if I go back up again over here, edit parameters. Um, so feel the one thing that you would maybe want to change is field resolution. Uh, make that. I'm gonna make it 50. Let's see what happens. You can see it gets uh, really filled in. Now if I go back over here. Uh, what I can do is I can enter an initial condition, so 0, 1, let's say, and it kind of fills it in for us. If I uh, let me go back up, I can add more of those. Uh, I can do 0, 2, and 0, negative 1, and it'll plot more solutions, and you can see this one's roughly linear, this one's uh, goes from decreasing, has a minimum, and then it becomes increasing. Um, so you can kind of learn all sorts of things. Uh, you do uh, control uh, G, wherever that is. You can make that go away so you can see a little better. Um, so that's some of the stuff that you can do with uh, slope fields. It's pretty useful. Uh, you can also uh, you can overlay things that you think are solutions by uh, going back to menu, graph type and change it back to function. Um, so if we think that uh, negative x minus 1 maybe is a solution to this differential equation, we can overlay that. And you can see that it fits pretty well. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty useful. And uh, I hope you find that helpful.